Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to Watch One. Thanks for logging on. Today we're looking at the IWC Ingenieur Chronograph Edition Lewis Hamilton. You can see this one of 250 piece titanium chronograph on our website, watchyouwant.com. Purchase it there. And if you enjoy these videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Watch You Want Inc. You can also click on the card in the upper right hand corner of this video at any time to see our full listing for this watch with accessories included, special edition boxes, papers, high res images, and of course, complete pricing information. Now on my wrist, six and a third inches, 16 centimeters in circumference, this 45 millimeter watch is the image of the modern oversized sports timepiece. 45 millimeters across the round of the case doesn't give the full impression because there really is no round of the case. Broad chronograph pushers, crown and crown guard, as well as extended integrated lugs and bracelet mean that this watch wears larger than 45 millimeters. Now, in terms of thickness, it does have a girth of 15.5 millimeters, but with no outcropping of the bezel and a little bit of slope, in fact, to the bezel architecture, this is an easy watch to fit under a looser long sleeve. Think a sport jacket, uh, a sporty long sweater, or perhaps a blazer. Now, the watch from lug to lug has impressive span, 56.5 millimeters, but because it is entirely in titanium, case, bezel, and bracelet, it wears light on the wrist. So this is an easy oversized watch to wear, provided you're okay with the ultimate span of 56.5 lug to lug. You'll also see that one of the tricks that IWC employs to make this watch more wearable is the underslung lug, which is to say the outermost outcropping, and you can see it to good effect at this angle, doesn't really represent the anchor point of the bracelet. Rather, it's tucked in on both sides, which probably culls about three millimeters of lug to lug span and makes this watch more wearable on a small wrist. I would say 15 centimeters in circumference is probably the lower limit, but because it is so light, it's an easy watch to wear no matter what size your wrist. The bracelet itself is beautifully tapered. Now it is in the tradition of the Ingenieur SL designed by Gerald Genta during the 70s. So you have that fully integrated look of case to lug to bracelet and then the progressive taper. You could see that it features IWC's modular bracelet assembly system. You can see the dimples underneath the center links of the bracelet. Now those allow each individual link to be removed without special tools for individualized cleaning or a very precise sizing, such that no matter what size your wrist, you can get a very close match by removing as many or as few links as you like. Now the bracelet itself is a very high quality satin finished twin trigger deployant. I like twin trigger deployants because they give you the ability to close the watch, hear the click, and then know that there's no friction fit vulnerability. No matter how violently you jerk or jangle this, it's not going to pop open. Pushing one trigger is not enough. You have to depress both to get positive release. Now, IWC does incorporate a very clever micro adjustment system. You may be able to see the individual detents right here, but I can show you that when you press the trigger button, you gain the ability to adjust up to one centimeter completely tool free for micro sizing as if the fully modular bracelet were not enough of a sizing refinement. Now, the case is rendered in titanium. The bolts that you see are actually capped with ceramic caps, and this material is also used for the crown guards. At center, you're looking at a carbon fiber dial base with a matte black zero to 60 flange that provides a slope downward transition from the bezel itself to the dial base. Now, this is another tribute to Genta and his Ingenieur SL of the late 70s, but very much a modern portrayal because with the carbon fiber and the uniquely symmetrical mono counter and sub seconds dial, IWC has created a very contemporary timepiece with this Ingenieur. Now, within the carbon fiber, you get the balance of a bicompax chronograph with the versatility and comprehensive display of a tricompax. That's because hours and minutes are both portrayed in a single dial at 12 o'clock with constant seconds and the date being anchored at six. It makes for beautiful balance and really cleans up the dial quite nicely. Now, although you can't see it, because it's underneath this authentic piece of Lewis Hamilton's 2014 championship winning Formula One car, there is an IWC in-house caliber 89361. It is a flyback chronograph, so you can see I can reset and restart the chronograph with a single press of the button at four o'clock. So a flyback chronograph, 68 hour power reserve, automatic winding. It features a unique four pawl take on the Albert Peloton automatic winding system that IWC has been developing for 
well, shall we say the better part of a century at this point, having originally pioneered the system in the late 40s. Now, the watch also features a free-sprung balance sports watch style for precision timing against slings, arrows, vibrations, and disruptions on the wrist, and a modern 4 hertz beat rate. Now, when you pull the crown, you do stop the balance. You can synchronize precisely by hacking the seconds hand to a known accurate reference time. It is a vertical clutch and column wheel chronograph, so if you prefer to look at the chronograph seconds hand and just pretend that hours minutes and seconds are all on the center of the watch and ignore the sub-seconds. The vertical clutch allows you to run the chronograph continuously with no hazard. Now as it is a column wheel system, it also has a very crisp engagement. You can hear and feel the engagement of that chronograph thanks to the column wheel. More traditional, more expensive, harder to tune, but it is the upscale fashion for actuating a chronograph function. Now the watch does feature a quick set for the date too, so should it ever run down or you simply encounter an irregular length month, you can quickly correct the date by turning the crown in the proper position. This is a watch that packs a lot of content. You have a piece of Lewis Hamilton's 2014 championship car, his second world title, and his first with Mercedes AMG Patron. Also, you have a watch that is a rugged sports timepiece. It has that classic chronograph complication, but with 12 ATM water resistance, you can also use this one at the beach and the pool. Now, it's Lewis Hamilton co-branded, but it's so discreet, you wouldn't know if you didn't, quite frankly, turn the watch over and look at the inscription. So it keeps a low profile, and with a full satin finish of its titanium bezel, case, clasp, and bracelet, the watch has a unique, subdued, discreet finish that doesn't scream so much as it whispers to you with seductive allure in the, quite frankly, inimitable fashion of the great gray metal, titanium. And you can feel the relief from the weight on the wrist. Again, a watch that will wear on almost any wrist in any situation. This is the IWC Ingenieur Chronograph Edition Lewis Hamilton, available on WatchYouWant.com.